And we're back, fellow knife and outdoor gear enthusiast. See ya! Jewel, just Jewel. AK Blade is up on the screen this week with new knives and tons of AK deals from brands like... Glow Runner. Spider Cat. Viper. Wee and Sabibi. And of course, Gershaw. All right. Yep. We really got the table packed this week. Smorgasbord. Yep. So we're going to get to the episode and start with the Buck 532 Buck Lock Pro Knife. There, there it is. is. Yeah, wow, jinx. Part Double of Buck's jinx. 2023 Legacy Collection, this folder is 7.25 inches overall with a 3 inch 154 cm drop point blade with Buck's Boss heat treatment, 0 0.11 inch thickness, and plain edge. So the blade is opened manually. Uh, eh, nope. Oh, you got a long fingernail there, don't you? Yeah, I'm trying not to break them, but that usually uh. just. Yeah, the knives. Blade is opened manually with the nail nick. The handle has black micarta scales with polished copper bolsters and liners. Nothing says fancy like polished copper. Amen. It weighs 4.16 ounces and comes with a black distressed. I don't know how they made it so upset. Genuine leather sheath. Also made in the good old U.S. of A. Wow, way to go, Buck. Non-imported sheath. Good mm -hmm. job. This knife is only available in 2023. It's a limited edition. Get this copper accented Pro Legacy Buck for $349. 99. Yes. .com. Yep. So as we mentioned, limited stock on this midlock. Won't be many to go around. I just want to see what it look like in there. What do you think? Better. Looks better. Uh, what? I like it a lot. Um, I really like the sheet too. Yeah, I mean it's it's very nicely done. Very intricately done on the back of the copper. I mean we're nobody's ever going to use that one. If you do, yeah. Yeah. You just wait through fifty. <laughs> there great. it is. I like it. It's nice. All right. Yep. With that, it's the latest folder from Glow Rhino, the Fermi. Not to be so, confused with the Furby. Or the Ferme. I believe they had this at Blade Show this mm -hmm. year. I think they saw posters in the hall. I just didn't have time to get to the booth, but we luckily we get to see the new knives firsthand now. So the Fermi is currently available in five different options. So specifically, each option sports a different colored thumb stud. Wow. Yeah. So we have the green and yellow option to show you. So that's liner lock. That's my idea of options right there. It is. This liner lock is 7 inch overall, has a 3 inch drop point D2 tool steel blade, a plain edge black grind, and black PVD coating. Handle scales are black textured G10 on all models, have deep carry stainless steel tip up pocket clips, self powering, glow in the dark tritium inserts on both sides. Yep. It also has stainless liners and ambidextrous thumb studs. Ambidextrous. Which inside are ringed with ballistic polymer and you can get in green, yellow, red, black, or orange. And then inside that uh, polymer there is the Glow Rhino's Glow in the Dark Tritium. So they all glow the same color, just so you know. Man, I wish I was ringed in ballistic polymer. That's great. Finally, each EDC weighs just 3.05 ounce, basically three ounces, and can be found for just 79.50 from AtlanticKnife.com. $79.50. Okay. Nice liner lock. Tritium accents are nice. Of course, it makes it easier to find in the dark. I'm not sure if that means, you know, 79. It's a little high for D2 and G10. I don't know. It's nice. What do you think? I think it's a nice little knife. 79 bucks really doesn't seem like all that bad for the Tritium models. I mean, if you want to have one, why not? Wouldn't you have one? I mean, I've never really had an issue searching for a knife in the dark because I always keep mine right on my top or of my pants my anyway. my purse with my little lanyard on it so I can yeah. just pull Even it out. Even if I'm sleeping, I just reach down in my pajamas. It would be cool right if out. the color glowed that color. I thought it was going to be, you saw the yellow, and I thought it was going to glow yellow, and this oh. is going to glow green, but... It doesn't. Yeah. So, but maybe in the future. That would be cool. So you right. go with it then. Go ahead. All right. So we got a uh, couple of new blades on the table still. But before we hit them, we need you to 
Hit those like, share, and comment, and subscribe buttons along with ringing the bell. And that way you're never too far away from your knife, your next knife, and gear content. You also get automatically entered to giveaways. So July is for Jokers is still happening, though we are announcing the winner of the Joker Bush Lord today. Yep. So the winner of this survival fixed blade with walnut wood handle, Sleppner steel blade, and leather sheaths, one with fire steel and dangler, and one without, is... Jason Dominguez. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Thanks and congrats. Make sure to email sales at landingknife.com. Good luck. Claim your knife. We thank everyone who participated, both here and on our website. On the net. Yeah. yeah. So, welcome official AKers. With that, we've got more knives for our Jokers in July. So, the next Joker knife we're giving away is the Joker Erizo TS1. Wow. Yeah. Six and a half inch course. overall, the Erizo. I know all about this one. Just did yeah. the other day. Three inch bowler N695 steel blade. Has jimping plain yes. edge. And a sateen finish. That's nice. Handleless green canvas micarta. The best of the micartas. Mm -hmm. Red liners underneath. Has a lanyard hole for additional carry options. Comes with the matching fire steel, which yeah. you're now showing them, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, as well as a clip for on the go carry. And 1.3 mm -hmm. meters of paracord. Yay. For those of you that don't do the metric system, that's Two a lot of paracord. 0.3. Feet. I think we've done it before. I can't remember. Four. Four? Okay. Enter to win. Become an AK member. It's completely free. Okay? Link is down below in the description. All right. So, Atlanta Knife has oodles of deals happening this month. It was so many, we had to just we had to show you some of them. Oodles and oodles. Oodles and oodles. Especially in terms of Wii and Civivi. Tons of discontinued models. Popular mm -hmm. favorites on sale. Especially ones like the... Civivi Odeon. All right, so here we go. go Has 2.65 inch black stone wash finish D2 drop point blade. Flat ground jimping and plain edge. 6.19 inch overall when fully opened. Thanks to the jimped back flipper tab Yay. or thumb stop. It is easy to open. Sound like operates on a cage ceramic ball bearing or plural. Was designed by Fair and Forge Knife Works. Mm. Wow. Comes with a tip up and by Dextrious pocket clip. Yep, so you can get this one in Blackout G10 or the Dark Green Micarta. And it also comes with a pouch, cleaning cloth, and stickers. And it's mm -hmm. just the best part. $29.95 yep. from alandknife.com. Alright, also on sale at Land Knife are the Primoras. Is yeah, that right? I think that's it. The yeah. Wee Seer, the Sakashis. We've added a bunch more recently. Mm -hmm. $129 on those. Yep, so in case you want a fresher, the Wii Sakashi is 7.59 inch overall. It's got the 3.3 inch CPM 20 CV steel drop point blade, black marble carbon fiber on both sides, and then it's got the anodized titanium hardware screws, pivot cap, cover, clip, barrel spacers, liners, you name it. It's got it. Huh. I, know. I didn't know it had those blue liners. Oh, yeah. This is why there's only eight of them left. <laughs> That's great. Just kidding. It was the inside you're joke around them out. here. That's great. I actually have one of those. <clears throat> Blade is deployed with jimp flipper tab. Comes with a pouch. I like this. Cleaning cloth. Stickers. Um, we also have lots of other deals. Lots of reasons. Kershaw's, the Valley Songs, the. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the Soviets. Appalachians, too. the Drifters. There's so many. I think there's 166 the Savibis. Lumi, yeah. right? The Edelon. And 60 some different Wii's we, we marked down. Yeah, we can't even name them all. There's so many. Nope. Of some of the accessories, too. Yep, and we also got discontinued Kaisers, like the Mini Sheepdog. Oh, yeah. One of the most popular models ever. So this Mini Sheepdog is 6 inches. Overall, it's got the 2.5 inch uh, CPM S35 VN blade. And of course, it's got the blue anodized titanium mm -hmm. handle. And of course, gold accents throughout. So there and there. Mm -hmm. It's just really nice. And I also think there was a f one other one, but I can't remember what it is right now. But just some check cold it out. steel stuff too. Some yeah. high end cold steel stuff would be like a hundred bucks. Yeah, most of the discontinued knives are all going to be well under the prices mm -hmm. you guys are used to. Yep. Yeah. All right, so go ahead. All right. Finally, we've got the Blem bin section that we're slowly oh, yeah. expanding. Only place you'll find factory sackets and open box items for like bargain prices, like Kershaw, Ontario. What, what was it again? Um, Get a Rat 3 for like 50 bucks. Rat 3 fixed blade. And they got the Kershaw dividend composite. Ballot songs like 85 Kershaw bucks. leaks like this one, which Couple I'll show you. Couple of autos in there. Yes, yeah, so I think there were some autos, yeah. So let's show them this one. Oh, yeah. So this week. 
It is last of this option, but there are plenty of others to choose from. So 7 inches overall when open and has a 3 inch black wash 14C29 Sandvik blade. You can deploy it with the jimped back flipper tab or the dual side thumb sets. I yep. just like the flipper tab. The handle has a digital blue pattern made of aluminum and has both a lanyard hole and tip up, tip down. Pocket clip. Mm. Sports Kershaw speed safe assisted opening and the lock as well. Yeah. Get a Kershaw leak factory two starting at 38 bucks. $38 from alandknife.com. All right. And don't forget, we have free shipping and no tax outside VA. For a limited time. For a limited time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for many, that makes a huge difference. So check us out. AK, you'd be glad you did. With yeah. that, back to the new stuff. Yep. So we have the, we'll do the spider coat next, but we had to do the finch first. So the are finch sure? shivs, yeah, that are, because they're dropping tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Finch shivs are dropping tomorrow. So you guys make sure you got to grab yours before they're gone. Very limited stock on these two. They'll be available in Black Micarta and the Ghost Green Translucent G10. Uh-huh. Yeah, go ahead. All right. So this one is 7.5, one inch Wait, overall. You also got to tell them the steel, dude. 14C28. There you go. Oh, we're telling the price too now? They're, yeah, go ahead. 79 bucks. Landknife.com. All right. Tomorrow. Write it on your calendar. Set a little reminder so you can get them. All okay. Right. Now go we got the latest Spyderco leaf jumper on the table. We're just flying through them today. We are. So she it's, left me back down with Toledo somewhere. It's black. There's black, gray, and that. blue FRN. So this is the latest model, which features the same ergonomics, but with a different steel. Go ahead. Sure. Yes. So this is the what? Leaf jumper? Mm -hmm. Seven and a half inches overall. 309 on the K390 micro clean blade. Has a sateen finish and comes in either full spider edge, means serrated, Inspired by the design of Sal Glazer. Also comes in plain edge. The original rock jumper. This folder sports the versatile leaf shape blade that still grants the user endless cutting options. We obviously have the fully serrated version here. Mm -hmm. Handle is bi-directional, textured, fiberglass, reinforced nylon. Four position pocket clip. Yep. So finally this blade is opened with the Spyderco thumb hole and is disengaged with the mid lock, lock back, back lock, whatever you want to call it. Same type of thing, just different placement. Yeah, I think the next knife I design, I'll have to make a five position pocket clip. <laughs> Made in Japan, so you can grab this leaf jumper, maybe, if it's still in stock, doubt it. 137.90 from AtlantaKnife.com. Now you could technically put the pocket clip like this way. I was thinking about that. Or like that way. 12 position just pocket clip. Just don't cover the blade. Um, pocket clip yeah. knife. Pocket clip knife? Yeah, go ahead. It's your, you can go first. You sure you want me to go first? Yes, sir. All right, sir. Wow. Sir, sir. I yes, sir. Important. Sir. Well, I got to be honest. I like the little rock jumper. It's not actually little. That's the first thing you it's notice not. about it. You kind of assume that most spider coats are a little smaller. They have their big models like the yeah. Tenacious and the Resilience and you know, PM2s and PMs and Civilians and Matriarchs and all that stuff. But this one's not really that small. I kind of like the size of it. I think it's a good cutting knife. The K390, you know, it's not as collectible as the Crucible. Um, crew wear, excuse me, um, steel. But this uh, pattern or shade, everybody likes. So yep. if it's Spider Co, like it'll it. cut. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I like it. It's not a completely new design, like you said. Mm -hmm. But I kind of like the change of steel. It's a little refreshing, you know. I like K the K390 steel line that Spider Co does. Though mm -hmm. I would prefer mine to have the plain edge. You know, it's just a little more difficult to sharpen if I use it a lot. And then... Uh, I can use plain edge for more things. But it's Spyderco, so you know you have quality and you know it's going to be sharp. Mm -hmm. So, bringing up the rear this week is <clears throat> the new Viper Veil. Veil? Veil. Veil. I'm going with Veil. Frankie Veil. Yeah, all right. Sure. Eight options, and I know she's going to make me name them all. Yes. Bocote wood, walnut wood, flamed poplar, or poplar. <laughs> pa rose, or pa rosa wood. Green canvas micarta, natural canvas micarta. Black Shore Touch. <laughs> That's a layer of G10 combined with rubber. Thank you for restraining there. Yep. Go ahead. And finally, Dark Matter Carbon Fiber. So we're featuring the Walnut Wood option today. This line of luck is 7.25 inches when fully open and has a 2.67 inch CPM Magna Cut Drop Point Blade with flat grind, plain edge, and cryogenic 
treatment. It's 0 0.15 inches thick and it's got jimping mm. and has either the stone wash or satin finish depending on the option you go with. So this one has the stone wash. Yeah. I hmm. know. Play is deployed with either the dual sided thumb studs or back flipper tab. Has a double nested AC420 hardened stainless steel liner. Grade 2 titanium. Backspacer. Or I guess it doubles the laying hole, right? Yeah. All right. It's got a laying hole there too. Operates on thrust bearings and has the stainless pivot screw and fastener screws. Comes with tip-up titanium pocket clip as well. Of course, the dark modern option has the different color pivot accent, backspacer, and clip. Man, I can't decide if this thing's a knife or we're going to pack our bags, get in, and fly to Europe. <laughs> I was going further. Wow. So this is designed by Jesper Voxnes, made in Maniago. Yep. This folder starts at just $158.95 from AtlanticKnife.com. Yep, so I'm going to go first. A uh, quality knife from Viper. Really wouldn't expect anything less, you know, because Italian made. Very similar to look in some of the new Fox and MKM knives we've been seeing, but that's not a big surprise since Jesper Fox has been in both of those companies doing designs. Great steel, definitely going to hold up to use. The back flipper tab mm, is a little short. And the thumb studs are a little pointed, so I think it's a little more difficult to deploy. Just a little, if you don't catch them right. But I do love the crown spine that they do, because Italian, they kind of use the crown spine a lot. I mean, because mm -hmm. the regular spines are usually used for fixed blades. They use the strike ferro rods, and we're not doing with a pocket knife. So crown spine is just nicer and a little more comfortable. I like a crown spine. I do, too. And a roll. I think most people think it's, it's nicer. Most, not all, most. To each his own. All right, see what do you think? It shows me that you showed a little more attention to the knife. That's that's all I think about it. I mean, it really serves no purpose. I'm sure somebody's going to give me a purpose now. But uh, just looks nice and comfortable. It looks nice. And we've definitely entered the Magna Cut for craze. Yes. <laughs> Which means 154 cm is going to be uh. Kaput. Nah, not kaput. It'll be the new D2. Oh no. Yeah, the old D2. So now it'll be all Magna Cut. We tried L Max, but I think we ran out. But there must have been a Magna Cut salesman walking out. around different countries Probably. just dealing out the Magna Cut because now everybody's got one. Um, the knife. Well, I have to tell you, I like it also. I don't think I have seen a scale designed like this. Um, it seems nice to hold, mm -hmm. so you should cut very well. And once again, has the Usable choil. You need a shirt which, that says that. I gotta that. tell you, well, you make the shirts, a, make me some If it's some got shirts. a usable choil, you're seized there. Is it Joel's in charge of the t-shirt making process. Oh, I'm not in charge. So, um, other joint. than that, I don't know the price on this. Do you? Uh, I know we said it. One... It's okay if we don't remember. I mean... 58.95. Okay. 158.95. Is yes. that what you think? Okay. Yes. So, for Magna Cut 158, this size... I think it's nice. I think I would, uh, mm, yeah, I think I would get one. It's great. What do you think? I already, I, you didn't say you'd get one. Oh, I totally get one. There you go. Totally get one. But I go with the, the dark matter one because that one's cool. Would you? Yeah. Hmm. And you guys should plan on seeing more Viper knives designed by Jasper. It's got a lot coming, like, uh, we don't know if we're pronouncing these right. The Kyomi, the Kaitla. Uh, new carbon fiber version of the balloon. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen a balloon in a while. I haven't either, but the carbon fiber options they got, mm -hmm. nice. So that means you've always got to be in touch with AK. So you got to check us out on all those social media sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, Instagram, Rumble, and AK's blog. Oh, I didn't get the Rumble. Don't forget Spotify and that jumble of other podcast hosting sites. We release new content all the time, including knife previews, gear photos. I heard we just released a podcast. Yeah, like <laughs> videos also. Yeah. So you always have your finger on the pulse of the knife scene. All right. Time uh, for our favorites. Don't see? press too hard. We don't want the knife seat to die. Go first. Favorites. Wow. Yep. Your favorite. And I'll even let you pick from the discontinued ones. Will you? Yes. Can I pick from the giveaway knives? No, you can't pick from the giveaway knives. Right. don't count. Well, I've already bought one of these this week. And I already have one of those. So I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to have one. I'll go with the buck. Buck, okay. Because I was, I like the buck, even though I'm not a big traditional pocket I'm knife. a 110 fan. I think it's going to be the Viper. Do you think so? Yeah, I like the Viper. I got to tell you, I like them all. 
Um, I do. The Glow Rhinos, they're not my style. Not mine either. But that might be just everything issue. else on the table is definitely. I would. I get oh, I'm sorry. These. Don't hate on the leak. No. I wouldn't. It's uh, seven. No, Odium. You're trying to hate on Odium. No, no, no. It's a leak. I'm not, I'm not a leak. Shh. I hope no, it gets one in its boat, if you know what I mean. That's great. This would also may have been a choice. Yeah, I like that one too. I really like it. Serrated. I don't. I don't mind serrated on. Uh, I do. On this model. I'm not on, a police. Oh, I have a police model too. I, like I know you also. do. All right, so here we go. Well, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. Ends the show. What? G goodbye. That ends folks. the show, folks. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. That's all. Like always, Woo. I'm C, and this is Joel, just Joel. And we're signing off. We're on to the latest folder from Glow Rhino. Ooh. Yeah, the Fermi. Yeah. Not the Fermi. Go ahead. Take three. <laughs>